There's a shitload of tension. You're trying to break that fucking tension. We're the first all black, black metal band. We're Ellis with Uprock Support. I'm in Soweto, South Africa, a township in Johannesburg. I've spent the last couple of days getting to know the black metal band Jemma Garab Satanum, a group that's overcoming a dark past and changing the status quo. Right now we're in Soweto in a place called Zola. Everybody in the band is from Soweto. It's a Soweto band. Soweto has its own vibe going. It's got this house music, this R&B-ish vibe and they don't really explore other things, you know? I think our biggest obstacle was getting over what the community would think of us. They think that if you're doing this, you guys are a bunch of Satanists with your fucking cop paint or whatever it is. That a band like that came up out of Soweto and they're doing quite well for themselves is fantastic. You know? We need more of that to happen. You know, breaking into this scene that's like white people only, that is hard, getting our first performances and shit. Will they take us seriously? Um, off the top of my head, personally, in, in, in my segment of the scene, I wouldn't be able to mention an all black metal band. Between 1948 and 1991, racial segregation between black and white South Africans was institutionalized by a policy known as apartheid. This created a system where black South Africans were forced to live outside of the city in areas known as townships, like Soweto. Apartheid is always a very touchy, touchy question in SA. I think with every country where segregation happened, it's a long road to recovery and all that, but when it just ended in that sense, I think the topics of music are influenced by it. Nelson Mandela became president after the first free elections in 1994, ending apartheid in South Africa. Those born after apartheid are known as born free. Born frees, they are open to more music, you know, in, in the sense of there was no, oh, well, you're restricted to this area or to this type of music or to this culture. It's open. It's as if the borders opened, the world's borders opened, the musical borders opened. I'm trying to get more black people involved by playing here in Soweto. Like, you know, fuck it, be tired of going out then. We're in Soweto and we're at Punk Fuck, baby. We just get all these bands to come and play, so that's how we actually make the metal and rock scene grow in Soweto. I think once the community sees that putting time into something positive, it'll explode. We're trying to get wise people to come to Soweto more. In Soweto, that's a very, very weird thing to see, which is cool. It's working out. They, they fucking love it. We host some of the best gigs. Apartheid is only, like what, just over 20 years ago. So there's a shitload of tension. You're trying to break that fucking tension. And once our country breaks that racial tension, then we can fucking move on. They won't call us white people for playing white people music. For more information, follow them on Facebook or go to uprocks.com.